In this video, I'm gonna show you how to repurpose old videos into new videos that you can post onto social media using AI. For this example, I'll take an old video and overlay a new voice track that is generated from text. You've probably heard this audio voice many, many times before. It's generated by an audio AI platform called Eleven Labs. We'll build this project from scratch using Airtable, Make.com, Eleven Labs, and a new platform I'm experimenting with, json to videocom Now, my name is Stephen Pope, founder of The Content Engine, and over the past two years, I've helped hundreds of personal brands and content agencies automate and streamline their content systems overnight. Now, like I said, I'm going to start this project from the start. I have a brand new Airtable base here. This is what you'll see every time you create a brand new base. We'll configure this. We'll configure make.com, 11 labs, and all the different platforms we need in order to make this happen. So to get started, I already created a folder in Google Drive called JSON to video. This is a project I'm working on, and this is the B-roll video that I'm going to use. It's nothing more than me sitting sitting at my desk and it's been sped up and we'll use this as an example. Now in order to make this work, we're gonna need this video here and we're also going to need some text that we can overlay on top of that video using Eleven Labs and combining everything with JSON to video. And if you're wondering what JSON is, I'll explain that a bit more later in the video. So right here, I'm just gonna rename this to project name. Then here, I'm going to change this to a field where I can put in the document ID from Google Drive. And then here I'm going to add a field that allows me to add in text. I'll expand the rows a bit just so I can see more. And then I don't really need the status for this example. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the share settings. We do need to make this public. If I come down here, I can say anyone with the link, they can view that content. I can copy that link. I'm going to put that into the URL here, mostly just so I can grab this ID. We need this ID for the automation. I'll come back to Airtable. I'm going to drop that doc ID right here. And then I've also already created the voice text that we are using. So I will drop that here. So this is the text that we're going to convert into audio using 11 labs that will be added to this video using JSON to video, all automated through make.com. So I'm going to give this a project name, YouTube video demo. I'll remove these two rows and now we're good to go. So I'm going to jump over to make.com and I'm going to create the first automation here. I'm going to trigger off a new row in Airtable. So here we can watch for new records. I do need to add a new connection so that we can connect with this example, JSON to video example. And I'll jump back over to Airtable to give this base a name so that it's easy to find and make. We'll go ahead and add a base, search for JSON there we go. We'll go ahead and grant access. Now it's going to update the connection and now we can add the base here, JSON to video. And we're looking for new rows in our table one. If you see here, we have table one. So we're looking for new rows that populate here. So in order for this to work, it does need a date time so that it knows what new records show up. So I'm going to come over here real quick. I'm going to come up here and add a new field for created time. You can go ahead and just create that field. Come back over to make.com, trigger field, refresh. We'll grab that created time here. I don't think we need any of these other things. Let's go ahead and click OK. Looks like we also need a label field. So I'm just going to pick project name. OK, so this allows you to set up your automation for when it should trigger. I'm going to go ahead and pick choose manually just so I can use this demo row here. And then if I run this automation, it should find that row. I can open up the output here and I can see that we have that row now in make.com with all the information we need to proceed. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to connect to 11 labs and generate the audio. I'm going to create a speech synthesis. I've already made a connection to my 11 labs account. You'll need to do this if you don't have one. I'm going to go ahead and pick the voice. I'm going to use Adam. This is the popular one that you hear a lot on the internet right now. For the model, I'm going to select 11 multilingual version 2. And for the text, I'm going to use what we pulled in from Airtable in step number one. If you click on this field, it's going to open up and then you can select the voice text. Remember that's coming from this column here in this row. There are some other settings you can use here, but you can go ahead and ignore these. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and test this out. So again, for testing, I can always come here and go to choose where to start and choose manually so I can continue to select that row without having to create new ones. And then I can run this automation and test it, trying to generate that audio on 11 labs right now. So I can click here to see the output. It looks like everything was successful. It created the file and I have the data right here. So now what I need to do is I need to write that data back to Google Drive so that we can use it later. So I'm going to add another module here. I'm going to go to Google 
Drive, gonna go to upload a file. I already have a connection to Google Drive. You'll need to create one if you don't have one using the add button here. In this case, I'm gonna create the file in the folder that we're already using. So I'm gonna jump back over to our example folder here and I'm gonna grab this ID from the URL. I'm gonna copy and paste that into the folder ID here. And then right here under file, we're gonna use the file that was created in the previous step. So it's gonna take the data that we got from this step and it's gonna write it to a file in this folder. Go ahead and click okay. I'm gonna come back to step one again and choose where to start, choose manually, YouTube video demo. And let's go ahead and run this just to see what happens. So now it's processing that text into audio and now it's writing that audio to Google Drive. Looks like that was successful. If we jump back over to our folder here, we should have an MP3, we do. We could listen to part of this if we want. This video you're watching was created using automation and AI. So everything you heard there was generated from this text. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this file publicly available so that when we call JSON to video, it will be able to access it. So I'm gonna go back to Google Drive. I'm gonna get a share link for the file ID. I'm gonna use step number three. So if you click on this box, you can select the file ID from step number three. The role is a reader and we'll say anyone. That means anyone on the internet can access this file given they have the link. I'll go ahead and click OK. Okay. I'm not gonna test that step because I'm pretty sure it will work. So now we really have everything that we need. We have the original video that we're gonna use for the B-roll, we have the audio. So now all we need to do is call JSON to video to combine that video and audio into a new video. Remember, I already shared this video here. It's important that both of these files here in Google Drive are publicly available. So now I'm gonna add a new step here. We're gonna make an HTTP call. I'm going to make a request. Here is the remote URL that we need to call to make this work. I'm gonna change the method to post. You'll need to add a header so that you can pass your API key. For the name, you'll put X API key, and then you'll drop your API key here. For body type, we're going to use raw. For content type, we are going to use JSON. And again, a JSON is just a JavaScript object that contains all of the information that JSON to video needs in order to create the video. So I'm going to go ahead and post that JSON into the request content field. And now I'm just going to tweak the different things that we need to tweak in order to make this work. So you define the width and height and the quality of the output video. And then we need to define a scene in that video. In this case, we are going to have the original video. I'm going to come back to the source URL for the original video because I need the structure of the Google file URL and I will be able to pull that from this source audio. You'll see why in just a second. So for the source audio, I'm going to go ahead and use the web content link from step number four. So we have step number four here. I'm going to go ahead and use this web content link. So that'll work for the audio, then I need to come back up here to the original video. I'm gonna copy and paste a Google Drive link. You can see the structure here. Now, the only thing I need to do is I need to replace this ID here with the ID that came from Airtable, this doc ID here. And come to think of it, it's really a video ID, not a doc ID, but we'll just move forward with what we have. So I'm gonna to come to this URL here and I'm going to remove the ID and I'm going to replace it with step number one, the doc ID. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. I'm gonna come back over to step number one. I'm going to pick where to start. Again, I'm going to choose manually on that same row. Then I'm going to select the same row again and then run the automation to see where we're at. What I'd love to see is we get all the way to this call and we get a success back from JSON to video. We're uploading the file and now we're making it public. Now we're calling JSON to video. Let's take a look at our output. We got a status code 200. That means it was successful and we also got a project ID. So right now I'm going to go ahead and create a route. A router lets us create two different branches based off of what happened in previous steps. In this case, I'm going to create a step here for when we have a success. So when the status code is equal to 200, we're gonna go down this path. And now this path would be created if there were any errors. But in this video, I'm only gonna cover a success. And so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert some of the output that we had here. This data here, I'm going to turn it into an array so that we can use it in additional steps here. So I'm going to use the JSON tool. I'm going to parse the JSON. This is gonna turn it into an array. For the JSON string, I'm gonna use step number five, this data here. Now, one thing I need to do next is I need to add a short delay so that JSON to video has time to process that video. The request was successful, but it's still generating that video in the background. And so I need to wait for that to be done. So I'm going to add a sleep here. It's in tools, sleep. I'm just going to go ahead and put 120 seconds because I don't know exactly how long it'll take. So now all we need to do after this delay is to go ahead and download the video. We're going to make a request for the URL. We can use what we did last time. We're going to use the get method this time. Again, you need to add your header for the API 
I key, add that here. Then we also need to add a query string. We'll put in the project, and then we need to add the project ID from this step here in seven. Now you notice when I click on this value here, it doesn't show up because this has never actually run before. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this and we'll come back to it. But we do need to trigger this one more time in order to get that value. So I'm gonna come back to step number one, choose where to start, choose manually, video demo, and run. So we can see the automation is sleeping now, but we can take a look at the parse. And now we see that it was able to take this string here and it converted it into three separate variables instead of it being inside this JSON string. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the automation because we don't need to wait. We still need to configure this module here. I'm gonna come back to the value. And now when I click on this value here, it does have the information we need. So I'm gonna add the project. We don't need to worry about a body type. We'll go ahead and click okay. Now the final step that we're gonna to need to make is saving the file that comes from JSON to video back to Google Drive. But in order to complete that step, we will need a successful run here. So I'm gonna go ahead and run the automation from scratch. All these steps have completed successfully. We're just waiting for the video to process. While we're waiting, I'm gonna come back over to Airtable and I'm going to add a new column here for for the final video, I'm gonna add a URL, final video. That way we have a place to put that URL when we are done. We'll end up copying that final video back here and then linking it from Airtable. Now, while this is processing, I would like to mention that typically I don't like to set up automations where I'm putting the automation to sleep. There is a better way to run this automation. You can actually trigger the creation of that video and then when the process is done, you can trigger an all new automation. But in this case, I'm just keeping it simple. So now it looks like this finished. So I'm gonna take a look at the output. Good news, we've got a status code of 200. So if I look inside here for the output URL, we have this here. So I can go to my browser and I can open this up. This video you're watching was created using automation and AI. I took some old B-roll footage and sped it up, then wrote this text and processed it with 11 labs to create the audio. Then I used jason2video.com to combine the video and audio into a new video that I can post to social media. So that was pretty cool. We were able to generate that video and and watch what the output looked like. Now all we need to do is save it to Google Drive just like we did here, and then finally add it back into Airtable. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna go to Google Drive, upload a file. In this case, we're gonna use the map. For the file name, I'm just gonna use the project and then add MP4. And then for data, we need to use the URL from this section here. So now we're in a situation again where we have data that's in this JSON and we need to actually extract all of the different values from it. So before we can actually upload it, we do need to parse the JSON again. Again. So I'm going to add another module in here, add module, JSON, parse JSON, and I'm going to use the data from here, JSON string, data, okay. And now again, unfortunately, we don't have the actual output here from this JSON module to then use in Google Drive. So you could trigger the whole automation again. There might be a trick I can use here. Let's go ahead and see if it works. I'm gonna grab the text here. I'm gonna copy it. And then I'm gonna run this one module manually. I'm gonna put the data in there. It was successful. Hopefully we can use it now. I'm gonna to go to the data. So I had to save the automation and refresh the page. But when I come back to Google Drive without having run this whole automation, it does look like we have the data from the previous step that we can now use. So I'm gonna use the URL here. And then again, I'm gonna use the project ID dot MP4. And then for the folder ID, again, we'll use the same ID here, click OK. And now even without running this, I should be able to update Airtable, I'm gonna update a record, choose account, we have to update the permissions so that it's able to write to the Airtable database, add base, JSON, grant access, we're gonna pick the base, JSON to video, the table is gonna be table one, the record ID is gonna be what we used in step number one, we have this ID here from Airtable. And now all we need to do is update this final video. And I believe we'll want to use this web view link here. We'll go ahead and click OK. And now we're ready to run this whole automation from scratch. Going to come back to step number one, choose where to start, choose manually, run the automation, generated the audio, saved the file, made the call. Now again, we're sleeping for that video to process. So the processing's done. We were able to grab the file, parse the JSON, upload the file, and update Airtable. So if we jump back to Airtable, we now have that video URL that is now inside Google Drive. And if we click this, this should be the video that we just generated. So it's still processing, so we can't watch it now, but it looked like everything worked successfully. So there you go. I hope you found that video valuable. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. It tells me what type of content you want more of. And if you want another in-depth video, just like this one, where I show you how to use Airtable and make.com to 10X your content, make sure to check out the video that's popping up on your screen right now. I'll see you there.